If you live in rural areas, you know what a pain cheatgrass is to control. If you manage wildlife, you know the impact cheatgrass has on forage for wildlife. One component of maintaining healthy mule deer herds is the ability for deer to find quality forage as they migrate. The 150-mile-plus Sublette Mule Deer Migration Corridor in western Wyoming is one of a number of vital areas for wildlife in the state where cheatgrass is present and where the Wyoming Game and Fish Department is working to control the spread of cheatgrass using herbicide applications. Game and Fish Statewide Migration Coordinator Jill Randall. The cheatgrass treatments are important for our rangeland health and for the habitat requirements of a lot of species here. We have mule deer, elk, moose, pronghorn, and this is important sagegrass habitat also. Mule deer move between low elevation sagebrush and grass habitat during the winter to higher elevation forbs, grass, and mountain shrubs in the summer and fall. So it's important to provide consistent seasonal nutrition to allow the deer to thrive. This area outside of Pinedale serves as both a vital stopover point along the migration corridor and important winter range for deer. When our mule deer are migrating in the spring, they primarily are targeting grass and cheatgrass does not provide very good forage and the native grasses that are here are gonna help those deer as they're moving up out of winter range towards their fawning and summer habitats. To uh, keep the cheatgrass out of that habitat means better forage, better grass for the mule deer that are moving through this corridor. In 2018, with the help of numerous partners, over $1.4 million was spent controlling the spread of cheatgrass in similar areas statewide that are important to big game and other wildlife species. Cheatgrass is a highly aggressive invasive species that is difficult to control. It thrives in disturbed areas, it can displace native plants, wildlife and livestock eat, and it's a prolific seed producer. These types of treatment work over a span of time and have little to no impact on native grasses and other species. Treatments along this vicinity near the Wind River front have been ongoing since 2011. Reapplications are necessary due to cheatgrass's ability to disperse seed. Using a helicopter ensures maximum coverage in rocky terrain such as this. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.